had as best as I stay to myself these days. I'm more comfortable that way. Well, maybe you just haven't found the right woman. Maybe. It's myself that I usually have to worry about. Why are you in such a hurry? I got some work to do. Don't worry about that. It's just me and you tonight. Come on. We're the only ones here. It's late at night. No one's working on Fridays. I really should. I really should. Don't worry about it. Hi guys, my name is Brianna B. Moore Morris and I am the CEO of B. Moore Productions and oh my gosh, it's been four years since I've released B. Moore Productions PSA series. It doesn't even feel like four years to be honest, but it has been and wow, so much has taken place over the last four years and I've been taking a few moments to just soak this in and take all of this in. I wouldn't have thought four years later that this beautiful artwork that we re that we created would now be re-released and we're sharing it with the world again. So I am super, super, super excited to share our PSA series with you guys. We did three amazing films, short films. We did Over the Edge, we did Temp, and we also did Genius. I produced all of them, I wrote Genius, and I also starred or co-starred in all of these short films. And it was such an amazing time. I will be very honest with you guys. I was super, super duper nervous about producing a short film series. Like, how, why, when, who? And... I got through it with my amazing team. I will be honest, I've had an opportunity to work with a lot of different productions. And by far, the group that I work with with this PSA series was absolutely the best. I definitely took a little bit of a page out of Adam Sandler's um, book. And most of the people that worked on one of the PSAs pretty much came back for either all three or two at least. So I worked with a very close-knit group of creatives in Chicago. We did it, we got through it, and we released it to the world through my website on imbmore.com four years ago. And this year, we have the opportunity to re-release it just for you guys. The topics that were discussed during that time are as prevalent now as they were then. So I truly hope you enjoyed it. This is for everyone out there who has a dream, who has a goal, even if it scares the living daylight out of you, which it did me. Go after it, do it, you got this. Don't worry about the haters, don't worry about the naysayers, don't worry about anyone who doubts you. If you got something in you that's pushed down that you know needs to shine, that needs to have light spread on it, go after it. Only you can do it. You are the answer to someone's prayers. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And without further ado, I present to you one of the shorts from the Be More Productions PSA series. Enjoy. Yes, I am concerned, paranoid about order. I like to keep my things organized. I don't like coming home and seeing things in this place. Women should not be aggressive. It's not a woman's place to be aggressive. I feel if a woman is too aggressive, something's wrong with her. It's not her place. Yeah, that's a problem. Are you being too aggressive? Stop it, Lucas. You're scaring me. You're being too rough. 
Lucas, you're hurting me. <laughs> Lucas. Having obsessive compulsive disorder is no walk in the park. Do you always sit alone? I find it's best if I stay to myself these days. I'm more comfortable that way. Do I have concern with catching a disease? No. That's the least of my fears. Girl, I didn't throw myself at him. I mean, but I will admit he is fine. <laughs> yes, girl. How is a handsome guy like you still single? Things don't work out the last few times. Well, maybe you haven't found the right woman. Maybe. But it's myself I usually worry about. I guess I don't trust myself. Kennedy Davis here, reporting from the scene of the crime, but they've just identified the body as Sophia Morris. Sophia has been missing for six weeks. Forensic investigators have confirmed. You want to come up for a nightcap? I really shouldn't. He's perfect. He is perfect. Like, I can't even imagine it myself. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stop. What the hell? I'm sorry, it was an accident. An accident? Yeah. How hard is it? You're not merging lanes. How hard is it to knock over a cup? I mean, I can pick it up. No, no, no. It's fine. I got it. Do I have mental images of death? <laughs> Are you mad at me, Lucas? No, I just get a little worked up sometimes. Well, maybe I should loosen you up. I don't think I should. I know that you should. A lot lately. Yeah, I do. One in 50 people will go through a phase of obsessive compulsive disorder at least once in their life, normally in their early teen years, but it can also develop later in life. It is most identifiable when a person is trying to control the uncontrollable things in life which translate into meaningless ritual and obsessions as perceived by the outside world. Majority of cases are based on genetics or stress. It has even appeared in extreme cases of PTSD, either from veterans or their families. It has also been seen in sexual assault cases, resulting from someone becoming so afraid of causing the demise of themselves or someone else that OCD becomes dominant. The repetition of certain acts gives the individual no pleasure, but only momentary and fleeting relief from the anxieties that plague their life. There are three main types of treatment, psychotherapy, behavioral therapy, and medications. If you or someone you know exhibit extreme behaviors of OCD, shyness, or rage, please seek professional help from your primary care physician or nearby hospital mental health facility.